right, good morning, wakey wakey, yeah, happy Friday, TGIF, we fucking made it. All right, hopefully your week's been going good, and the weekend's almost here. They're saying it's not going to warm up until like 9, 10 o'clock, and that's 52 degrees. <laughs> so, uh, I'm going to get off here, go check my pot roast, oh yeah, I put a, uh, a roast on last night before I went to bed. All right, here we go. So that's gonna be uh, today's fuel. And uh, get in the bath. We'll start uh, getting ahead of the soreness. Thaw everything out. And uh, see how we're gonna roll today. Yep, let's do it. We'll do it together. The same thing that was true in the 50s and 60s is still true today. Stop eating plant oils and, and eat real animal fats. That's, that's what humans are designed to do. Now, this is not a religious discussion. This is not a discussion that your mom was wrong or right. But so many people don't understand that this is, it's, it, even though we think, you and I think we've rediscovered a proper human diet, or at least very close to it, we're all fumbling around in the dark. From the, public, the Harvard School of Public Health, we're all fumbling around in the dark trying to rediscover what is a proper human diet outside of all the modern uh, you know, oh, we want to be modern everything. We want to have factory-made food. I think it's important to, for all of us to admit, yeah, we're doing the best we can, but we do not know it all. And I, 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 the more I study this, the more I think that if we're three layers deep in the physiology and in the biochemistry of, of both medicine and nutrition, I think there's somewhere between probably seven and ten layers. And I don't think that any one human will ever understand it all. I think it'll take machine learning and artificial intelligence to ever ultimately comprehend the, the, complex, the complexity of the human organism down to the, down to the, the molecular biology level and beyond. I, I don't think one human will ever understand it. And it's frustrating, but at the same time, it, it, you know, it, it really makes you just stand back in awe that you know, the, the, the dumbest, poorest, whoever, wherever in the world can literally just bumble around and eat whatever the hell they want to eat and do whatever they want to do and still live a pretty decent life. It's just, it's maddening to know that there probably are some principles that we should all adhere to, but yet many of us don't and, and seemingly don't have to. And it, it's maddening, but at the same time, it, it, it just leaves me in awe of the human species, the human organism. Ooh, burr. Good morning, good morning. Too cold for you? <laughs> All right, I'll leave the door cracked. Wet, cold, and chilly. Hair still growing. Hmm. Slightly pressurized. All right, wakey, wakey, good morning, good morning. Okay, walking normal after that bath. But how long will that last today? Can we make it all day walking normal? Can we make it till tomorrow? That's the question. Yeah. But so far, walking pretty good. Mm, get that diesel smell in the water. Let's wait for Mr. Sun to come up, warm it up for us. We'll see how we're going to roll today. Let's go do some uh, skate pipe art. Mm, search for animal chin, maybe? Let's check those Spitfires. Take these out in a couple hours. They're pretty much done. 
but we'll wait till the sun comes out, wash them, dry them, install them. Ew. Good morning, good morning, wakey wakey officially. Anya did not want to step outside. She's like, fuck this, it's too cold for me. She went back to bed, so I'm just gonna do a couple laps around the neighborhood, get my body moving. And go shred that pot roast. Mm. Hope you can make it outside today. It's beautiful. Walking pretty good this morning. No discomfort yet. No Frankenstein limp. Just steadily, slowly moving. Thing is, when I feel like this, I don't want to stop moving. I don't want to stop. I just want to keep going. So, we might go the distance. It's early still, so. Maybe do a couple miles, come back, get on you finish the rest of the walk we'll see that's the cheap way to keep yourself sick it's pretty quiet in the graveyard as always Good morning, Mr. Sun. Warm this shit up. Energize. Program this sleep. Feed that vitamin D. Anything skatable in there? Bunch of scraps. Duly noted. Still walking good. Ooh, let's go get a lotto ticket. Back in the hollow. Huh. I bet my dad's up.
sweet home. Oh, you're nice and warm. Oh, I bet you're up with all that fucking noise out there. Yeah. Man. Yeah. I, could I thought it was a cement truck. Good morning, good morning. Oh, man. All right, let's check that pot roast. We're on 11 hours, 30 minutes. We're going for a 14 hour. Okay, I got the three and a half pound roast. Cut up. Ready to flake apart. Woo! Damn, smells good in there. Okay, now that I've stopped, I got a little bit of a Frankenstein limp. So let's go stretch this shit out. All right, stretch time. stretch oh man in alignment feeling better i think i decreased my frankenstein walk a little bit still sore oh yeah there it is okay let's go kick our feet up for a little bit get warm Oh, let's take those spit fires out. Clean them up. They're still cutting that tree down. Holy shit. Okay, I'm walking better now. Took a little break off my feet. I was uh, FaceTiming with Kyle. Him and uh, Ryan and a couple of my other friends are going to uh, Miami this weekend. I was supposed to go on the trip with them. A uh, Airbnb skate trip. Hitting a bunch of street spots and there's a uh, park called Lot 11. It's under the bridge. It's, uh, it's all awesome, but you know, I had to tell them that I just, I can't go. If, if I was to go on that trip this weekend, it's gonna set my healing back and my regeneration back, which I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get rid of this nerve pain in my fucking knees. And uh, you know, they, they understand, they, uh, they know my conditions. But um, you know, I, I told them, I was like, make sure you get, I want good, I want you guys to land good field tricks, uh, positive vibes, hit all the good spots, map out the shit, do recon. Because when it is my time to go on this next trip, uh, we do it right, you know? We do it efficient and we get more fun packed in. So um, that, that's what the guys are gonna do. And they're gonna, they're gonna have a fucking blast doing it. You know, I wish I could be there, but um, I just need to, I need to be home healing. And uh, that's, uh, that's the discipline, you know? That's the discipline of trying to, um, get back to uh, an optimized feeling that I'm familiar with. And uh, with the conditions of my knees, that feeling would be, which I was telling Kyle, uh, when I was about 33 years old. At that time, I was on a, I, I didn't drink for a year. I was on a clean, healthy, good diet. It was, uh, I was healthy, I was strong, and uh, I had gotten, you know, 85% of my skate ability back and uh, my tricks were consistent. I could go to the park in 30 minutes and just do every flip trick regular and switch, uh, one after another, first try. And, um, you know, I would love to be able to achieve that once again. And that, that's the optimal feeling for me with this damage, you know. Also, I was telling Kyle before I got hit by that van, you know, uh, it had been weeks prior uh, to that where I was at my 
highest high of skating. Uh, my entire childhood up, up till I was uh, 20, 23 years old, um, I could go to a parking lot by myself with nobody around and just get out of my head and get lost. This, this was like I had discovered meditative skating for myself, you know? I had never skated by myself. I couldn't skate by myself. I didn't want to skate by myself. You know, I'd always skated with friends. But th at this point in time, I didn't, I didn't have any friends that skated anymore around here. They had all gone. This is 19, uh, shit, this is uh, 1999, 2000, 2001 skating just wasn't happening here in florida and um so i was skating by myself and um and i was really enjoying m my my superpowers you know my skills and, and abilities that i had just trained myself and beat myself in the head to discipline and learn all these tricks i would just go to a parking lot I would just push 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 haul ass trick 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 after trick and uh until i stopped you know i wouldn't even push no push line and um i'd hit the curbs have fun do manuals and then i would just go and i and, and i put my board i put my board away for months at a time and uh i was still keeping up and, and, and my you know still felt good and uh, i'd come back to it and boom it's there just waiting on me you know so uh that's what i want to achieve for myself that's where i want to be that's the direction i'm going that's the route i'm taking you all so um we're doing it together and uh kyle and, and, the, and the boys are doing it without me this weekend but you can see it kyle's gonna put a new edit up on his board pushing channel next week sometime and uh he'll have this miami footage so you'll see a prelims of what our future will look like and uh yeah so it's awesome good times good healing happy healing positive healing focused healing stay focused you yeah, got two bite marks there i can see them hours 31 minutes let's see if it flakes <coughs> part rest omelet mm -hmm. this should definitely reminded me of Tory Pueblo as well did they advertise oh like man this? yummy like, fucking it yummy comes, I, never, I didn't see it, it advertised like this I mean this, it wasn't mm. like Nike didn't specifically put pot roast like omelet that. with feta is, but people start to know and then that's when it becomes more like people are going for the, the black and white so if you see people that are so fucking good unboxings and they're pulling it out because like it's i said amazing. it's a black bag when you open it you don't know what you're getting when you purchase right oh. so mm. people pull it out and they're like fucking stoked that they got the black and white paper. man that's what I, yeah but how do, i wonder how people i mean i guess it just leaks yeah i guess yeah. it just I mean, leaks people get early pairs there's, there's a whole community ready go yeah, all right i'm gonna put my new black wheels on Finally. Let's test them out. Damn. Orange bushings turn good. Ooh, barky bark.
turns amazing. Feels amazing. But it hurts. Got that goddamn pressure in my knee. Okay. You. All right, we just got a pipe order, so let's go pack it. Pack it and drop it off. Shauna from Virginia. Thank you. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoy this. Yeah. Going out to you in a few minutes. Oh, man, it came out so good. Go to the post office. Maybe see if we're able to roll. All right, Dad, we're going to the post office in the park. We'll be back. Oh, Mr. Sun, yeah. 62 degrees out. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm going to drop Shauna's pipe off. Thank you again, Shauna. Woo! All right. Well, we're just gonna go disciplinary cruise around. See how the knee feels, just cruising. Absorb some of this sun, oh yeah. Before it goes down. All right, got the keys. Oh, that was a quick vibration to death. Holy shit. Yeah, it ain't the dragon wheels today. We got 99s. Let's walk, get warmed up. Oh yeah, get energized. And disciplinary roll. <laughs> You're ready to fucking run, aren't you? Tony. Get a quick stretch real quick. Yeah, quick stretch before we roll. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Alright, good stretch, good stretch. Alright, let's go roll around cruise. Turn the phone off every time I do a trick. God damn it. I just think of Alien. Yeah, of course.
Man, I like the back 180 into this thing. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Whew, 30 minutes of just straight ollie in that bank, the manual. I got a good workout. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah, we uh, had a nice disciplinary skate sesh. Uh, you know, knee had pressure in it the whole time, but I just managed it and kept it, kept the uh, intensity moderated. But uh, yeah, it was good. I got a good sweat. Now we're gonna hit the dog park. Yeah, nice having a dog park yourself. No distractions or interferences. Okay, Lanya's fueling. Oh yeah, my ass is getting in the bath. Oh, fresh out the hot bath, walking normal again. Holy shit. I have to crack this. Come on, pretty girl. Hmm. Guess I forgot to hit record. Cheers and healers. Man, smoking my uh, CWA with a little Boswell's Northwoods. Yummy fucking yummy. Perfect for the 50 degree weather. Oh man, what a day. Long day. Uh, got 5.5 miles walking. Got an hour of straight skating. Disciplinary, sweated. Man, uh, since uh, eliminating processed carbs, Fucking, my sweat smells like ammonia now. That's what, that's what it smelled like after skating today. So, uh, that's one change I noticed. But, uh, yeah, felt good to roll. Uh, it was a little uncomfortable, but tolerable. You know, the skating is like, kind of like bike riding. As long as I'm not constantly taking impact, which I was taking impact because I was doing nose manis, my, uh, right knee, um, dropping off, but... It was okay, it wasn't that bad. I'm gonna kick back, start trimming the fat off today's edit, and uh, hit the sack. We'll see you guys bright and early in the morning. Saturday, man, what's Saturday got in store for us? Hopefully some fucking skating if this damn Neil let me. I, uh, I would love that. Okay, have a good one. Hope your Friday was awesome.